So our next um, method is going to be map handling. Um, let's just copy that. Does this return anything? I don't think it does. Nope. So display information. Call this one display information. And all this is uh, going to display is basics about the um, the map. So score and all kinds of information. So db set text size 30. Now this is something I don't like doing very much because what it means here is we're changing, not changing, but setting the text size to 30 at every loop and this is stupid because by doing this we are really um, stressing uh, well in affecting performance a fair bit by doing this um, there's no other way that I know to keep the text at the same size other than put it, setting it as that on the main loop which is a bit stupid to have this but what can you do really you just gotta go with it so we're gonna go char points hundred because we don't need to put too much in there then we're going to sprint uh, s so sprint f s so that so sprint f s points the points variable we're using here we're saying 200 which I believe actually I'm not sure what that does I've used that for quite a long time and I don't know what it does so we do score and then we underline and we do percentage d because we're on display decimal uh, percentage sign D and then we do uh, comma and then score so that stores basically that text plus that score there then we say DB text um, and we want to put that 50 by 50 and we want to make sure we display points which is the name of the variable where we just stored all that stuff in so that's that now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this a couple of times because we have this for a few things so we've got this for three more things so do that because we're doing the copy and pasting if you guys with me were with me on the last tutorial you know that I make mistakes like a, an idiot when I copy and paste a lot so I'm going to try not to do that this time so this second one is coins oops yep that's right so coins replace that replace that actually replace that as well um, score uh, this time it's coins in small letter coins uh, make sure your coins is uh, in caps or maybe with one of these behind it to um, not clash with this one basically so that one should be fine <laughs> but should be doesn't mean much when I'm doing it so level so this basically just says the level that's being played at the moment um, uh, just put a big L there, why not? Going against the rules of this, which is rather stupid, but I'll do it anyway. And make sure you change that for level. This one is lives, so number of lives that he has left. Lives. And we're going to put a big L, L here. L, lives. We're going to create it, create it, and there you go. So hopefully we didn't make any mistakes. Now, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you? But we made a few mistakes, because I just noticed that we forgot to put the um, numbers here. So we're going to go for uh, all the y-axis ones are 50, so that's 300. 300, and last one is 500, and they're all 50 at the end. Oh my god, I bet I've made a mistake. Watch this. Fail. Uh, I knew that much, but missing sprint f. Yes, what's wrong with that? Sprint f. What the hell? Oh my god. Well, at least it wasn't such a bad mistake. So, yeah, just put the semicolons there. Now, if it does run, we're going to get that text oh, or not. We're not going to see that text. Now, the reason why we're not seeing that text is because we're not calling this, so that makes sense there. So. Let's just wait until we put these methods on the main loop later on to um, test them out. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the map tiles uh, method. Now this is a bit of a beast of a method because this handles everything to do with um, basically displaying stuff on the screen. So um, pretty much everything that is displayed is done through this. So we're going to do void map handling, and as you can see now, the other two methods we just did come up, but we don't want to do the do those yet. So paste tile. So you better be ready for this, guys, because this is a beast of a method. Int x. I've had to write it so many times; it's ridiculous. Int tile num x. 
Now this is, as I mentioned to you guys on the demo from that guy, um, most of this anyway, I had to make quite a few modifications, but the basic code is from a guy called Pizzaman, um, in town um, X, uh, in Y, and then we say, um, and yeah, it's really good, because um, when I was first doing this, it was really difficult. I went through quite a few different types of collision to um, get on with this properly, town them Y, uh, int temp X, int temp Y. So we close that, open, and close brackets. Now, um, we got paste tiles done, so let's just make sure that's right. So X, town them X, int Y, town them Y, int temp X. Uh, and in temp y, that's fine by me. And then what we do is, uh, there's going to be a lot of copy and pasting on this one as well, but that would be just to save us some time. So if map, now map is our big ass 2D array that holds our map, x plus tile num, num x, and then we do um, y plus tile num y. So just make sure these are okay. Hover over them every now and then just to make sure. So yeah, equals, equals, equals QC, this is one of the larger ones, or, then we do the same, let's copy that, equals, equals, um, QF, so if it equals either of them, we display a specific animation. So that's the question box with a coin, or a question box with a flower. So the basics of it is just display a question box. Uh, so we're saying if db timer. Now feel free to check these variables back at the um, uh, back at the variables class um, anytime you like. But uh, I won't go into too much detail. Question box timer is greater than 75. So every 75 milliseconds we're changing the frame on the question box, and that's why you'll see the question box having all those yellow animations. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so saying question box timer equals db timer that's something we have to do pretty much every time um, which box timer equals db timer q box anim plus plus so increase the animation on the on the question box to make sure we go to the next frame if q box anim equals 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 26 so that's the last frame there q box anim equals zero uh, so we do that, and then we say we say db uh, paste image, right? So we're pasting the image on that exact part of the tile. So q plus um, q box anim, and then the thing we're doing here is we're doing x. Uh, so yeah, just open and close brackets x times tile num x. Oh, tile size x, sorry, size x, which is in turn 65, minus temp x. So that's good stuff there. And then we put comma there, and we just do pretty much the same, but replace that the x with y's. So we do that, y there, y there. And all this is saying is display exactly where it is on the array on screen. So this is converting from an array, a 2D array, to the screen. Um, so we've got that temp y and uh, I think we're good for that one yep that should be alright there uh, we'll build this in a second to make sure we just don't have any errors so the next one um, so what we'll do is we'll um, copy this bit yep we'll copy this bit but we'll start editing stuff so else if because this is another option to that delete this part we don't want that so else if that equals c which is a coin so if equals a coin, display the coin animation. Um, same as that one, so I'm going to copy this because it's almost the same, except we're going to make a few changes. As usual, there's going to be tons of mistakes for me from copying and pasting, but this is the best way to save time. So I'll just try and keep awareness on this coin timer. <coughs> coin timer is greater than 100 because uh, that's the time I want this one to do. A bit slower than that one. So we're saying, instead of question box time, we're doing coin timer. Just take it a line at a time, coin time equals db timer, coin anim, coin animation, plus plus, so change the animation. Now instead of 26, we have 6, because there's only 6 
animations for the spinning coin and now coin and nim will be put there and there and um, this will be C oh damn it so this will be C big C right forget that um, plus coin and nim yep that's correct yep big C plus coin and nim um, and that's that one that one's done so we've done animation for our coins and we've done animation for our question boxes um, so the next one's EPL now um, this is the enemy piranha uh, so let's have a go at that enemy piranha so that will be else if as well actually we don't need all this thing because this one's slightly different so saying else if now this time it's uh, we're looking at EP uh, one, so that's the enemy behind yet left tile. So EP one, let's just hover over it, make sure it exists. It certainly doesn't. It's not a one. It's an L. Sorry about that. EPL, and there it is. Um, so once we do that, um, EPL. So we're going to create a for loop here. Int i equals zero. I is less than max piranhas. I plus plus. So increase the i plus for every piranha that we've got and then we do um, if this is something I had to do which I'm <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with so this is to fix the fact that plants were all being pasted on top of each other and that is um, I mean that by when they were making the tiles so this is one of our strokes we we're using so this is reference J right, we created these just to check this out equals equals J um, sorry X plus tile num x if it equals x plus tile and and now we just check the same thing x equals and and well I, I don't know why I say and and but that's what it is you know so change that for an i reference i equals y and y there and tile num y <coughs> and we use this because it um, make sure every plant um, gets pasted on the exactly correct um, tile as I said so then we say if db sprite uh, visible so if we're saying if uh, sprite piranha plants plants dot id so we're saying if that sprite is visible um, let's say if that the sprite visible, so close that equals equals zero. So if he's not visible, the piranha plant, because we need to hide him at the beginning so they don't get pasted on the screen. So now if it's visible, sprite piranha plants, copy that and just put that there. That should be fine. So if it's visible, uh, if it's not visible, then show it. And then we do a DB paste image. So just copy that one. It doesn't really matter. And then we put that one just after this. So if the paste image, and then we call a DB sprite as well in a second, which you'll find out why. So DB paste image, and uh, what we'll do is we'll do. Uh, we're gonna have to write this one. No getting out of that. So map. Um, X plus tile num x, y plus tile num y. So I've got those two there. Let's make sure that's okay. Uh, tile and Y, uh, and then we do that plus the piranha plants animation. So it's going to copy this because it takes a lot of time to do this. Piranha plants dot plant anim. So we want the plant to keep changing animations, and uh, we've got those right. And then we say piranha plants I plus. Uh, I plus one, sorry, that's the way I've done this. I'm not sure why I did this actually at first. I think it's because we've got the plants broken down into two different things. But um, I'm not too sure right now actually. I'm a bit tired, so I won't be as helpful as I normally would be. Which is um, not very helpful anyway. But um, so, do you sprite ID? So, the reason why we're doing sprite as well is because later on, bearing the eye. Oh, sh shizzles. Sorry. Uh, so have that. Parent plant site dot id. Um, the reason why we're doing this is so we later can check out. Um, 
so we can check how uh, the distance between Mario and the plant. So uh, if they're too close, um, then hide the uh, 